Hello, and welcome to the first installment of my new Open Frameworks audio programming tutorials. What is Open Frameworks? Open Frameworks is an open source C++ toolkit to assist the creative process by providing a simple and intuitive framework for experimentation. In my personal experience, Open Frameworks significantly lowers the barrier to entry in writing a C++ application. Open Frameworks is frequently compared to processing. In fact, if you are familiar with writing visuals and processing, you are well equipped to write visuals in Open Frameworks. So if Open Frameworks is like processing, why use it for programming audio? The short answer is a built-in audio callback function. Any real or non-real-time audio programming can be accomplished in C++. The target audience for this series are audio programmers familiar with Max MSP, Super Collider, or Pure Data, wishing to transition to C++ audio programming. If you belong to this group, I recommend getting a copy of the audio programming book as a companion to the series. If you are an Open Frameworks programmer experienced in writing visuals in Open Frameworks, I recommend a copy of the computer music tutorial as a companion. Why learn Open Frameworks? Open Frameworks provides a potential for more creative control than Max MSP, Pure Data, or Super Collider. This does not make it better than the three. The best environment is the one that solves the issue the quickest. Often, for audio, this will not be Open Frameworks. However, Open Frameworks can solve problems that Max, MSP, Pure Data, and Super Collider cannot. Having more tools at your disposal is always better. However, we are all busy. We must prioritize the languages we learn so we can spend time creating. Max, MSP, Pure Data, and Super Collider are all very good at solving, solving problems very quickly. That having been said, if the only tool you have is a hammer, it is tempting to treat everything as if it were a nail. Open Frameworks is different than the previously mentioned three in that it provides direct access to the audio thread. Additionally, C++ is a widely used language that has been around since the late 70s and does not appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. Open Frameworks uses C++. Thus, it is an excellent gateway to writing VST and audio unit plugins and writing external objects for, for Max, MSP, and Pure Data, written in C. Links to books on these topics are in the description. Strengths of Open Frameworks include that it is free and open source. It also comes with a strong and friendly online community that is always there to answer questions you may have. Open Frameworks is cross-platform, uh, including Macintosh, Windows, Linux, including the Raspberry Pi, Android, and iOS. Additionally, nearly any C++ and C library can be used. To get a copy of Open Frameworks, head to the Open Frameworks homepage, openframeworks.cc. Head to the download page and grab a copy and follow the setup guide for your platform. For the beginning tutorials at the very least, I will be on Visual Studio and I'll grab a copy for Visual Studio 2015. This, these tutorials should apply to all platforms. And I will try, I will do my best to make sure if there's any discrepancies or any differences between the platforms to note those. So I'm not going to wait for this to download since I already have a copy. All right, in the Open Frameworks folder that downloads, you should have several folders. A folder full of add ons. Your list will be shorter than mine at the moment. A list of examples, a list of your current apps and a project generator. This will become important in the next tutorial. But just to make sure everything's running, run the 3D primitives example. If you've installed your IDE, it should open up the IDE you've installed automatically. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And um, if you're coming from Max or Super Collider, you're not used to using a, a, an IDE like Visual Studio or Xcode. Um, at first I was really annoyed that Open Frameworks didn't have its own native IDE, but after a, after a very short while I was actually really pleased with the power of uh, Xcode and Visual Studio. It's a lot more convenient to code on these platforms and they offer a lot more help uh, debugging and troubleshooting your code. So the first thing you'll see is that there's no code on the page and to show that code, you need to go to the Solution Explorer on Visual Studio. I forget what it's called on Xcode, but it'll look just about the same. It's just a file explorer. And your 
project will be what 3d primitives example and it'll be located within three documents main.cpp or c++ will not be used very often at least in this series of app.cp is the main functionality of the code of app.h or header is where you store most of your variables and we can add documents at will and add libraries at will to make sure this runs set this to debug and I'll, I'm going to run all my examples at, on 32-bit but was, you also have 64-bit builds and when you hit the debugger it's going to compile your code um, then every time so the first time you do this it'll take a lot longer um, and it has to compile all of these libraries and the second time you run it any time after if you haven't changed any of those libraries it will not have to recompile the, most of your libraries so it'll be a lot quicker your second, third, fourth time. All right, we have success. Okay, so you can test as many examples as you feel like. I will note one difference between working on Macintosh and working on Windows. On Windows, we'll have this console window floating separately over here. On Macintosh, it's built into the IDE. Okay, so I'll make one more important distinction. If we go to our Open Frameworks page, or our folder, sorry, and we go to our examples, go to the example we just ran. If you go to the bin folder, you can actually see an example that is ready to run. So if I double click that build, it runs instantly. So that's a major distinction. This, the program you write will compile every time you run it. And you could actually ship this folder off to somebody else with the same platform and they will be able to run your code automatically. Hopefully. All right, and that's one of the greater advantages. It helps with the speed of the program. So next time, uh, we'll be talking about the audio callback function, and we'll follow tradition and build a sine wave oscillator. Thank you.